First of all, uh, anyone who's not aware, uh, you used to intern here at yep. this show. Yeah. You've moved on. Uh, and uh, hit a home run. Everything's going great for you. The great. Office, one of the best shows on television. You're in movies now. So well, I congratulations. saw you. It was at the Emmys, by the way. That's right. That's right. And I went up to Conan and I said, uh, you know, the best thing about winning this award, because I was so nervous, because he was on the stage, and it was so loud, you were like, so how are you, man? And you interrupted, and I went, you listen to me now. And you went, <laughs> and, and Conan goes, <laughs> Conan looks at me and goes, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what I say to everybody in show that's business. That's true. That's my little thing that I do. I don't care who they are, you know? That's oh, what man. I call, that's yeah. what I say to people. Uh, you just finished making a movie, I'm told. It's not gonna be out for a while, but you just finished making a movie with George Clooney. Yeah, what? Now that... Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, uh, it does. I think I you're... I had my in the morning, I was in the trailer, I was like, nope, no, it still doesn't make sense. Hold yeah. on a second. Because yeah, you must really time. have to do a reality check sometimes. This is you know, George Clooney, one of the biggest movie stars in the world. Yeah, and, and, and you know he's a big movie star, because you, you know, the most I get on the street is, Jim. Right. And you're like, yeah, how you doing? George Clooney, I was, we had this thing, um, we, he was walking out of set one day, and there was this woman driving an SUV right by him as he came out of this building. And as she's driving, she saw him, and you now know that humans have computers in their brain, because it, it just fried. She was like, pssst, opens the door, gets out, and goes, George, George! And the car was left in drive. No, no, no! It's going down the street. Right. So behind George, I always imagine it looked like a Michael Bay film. Like, he's right. walking, and this woman's running, and cops, four cops grabbed her, and PAs were running and dove in the car and pulled the e-brake. Right. This all happened. Right. And then they looked in the back seat. Infant in a car seat. No! That's yeah. madness! That's how famous that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, they should... You feel like... You feel like the military should use George Clooney yeah, to like parachute definitely. behind em enemy lines and guards would be like, George Clooney, bleh, you know. Everybody's like, this is it. Like, what is that? Yeah. George Clooney! It's the guy from Ur. <laughs> <laughs> no one told them how to pronounce it. It's not their fault. So between the office and the movies, you, you made a joke. You say people don't get excited. You must be getting recognized a lot. Now. I get recognized every now and again, but it's yeah. fun. Like everybody who's a fan of the show has been really really cool, but uh, there was this one weird thing where I went into a bar, and I just felt weird about the bar. It like, kind of felt like the Twilight Zone. I was like, something's gonna happen that's weird. Mm -hmm. And this girl came up to me, and she's like, are you on the office? And I was like, yeah, I am. She's like, well, I don't watch it, so I don't care. And I go, <laughs> I was like, um, okay, great, thank you. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. And she goes, but my friend Sarah really likes it. She sounded a lot like Kristen Wiig's character on us now. She's yeah. like, my friend really likes it. Uh, here's Sarah. So I look and I'm like, hey, Sarah, how you doing? And Sarah's shorter than she is and I'm talking to her. And here's the original girl. And I'm like, so Sarah, and she's like, my favorite episode. And I was like, oh, that's great. Oh, and this girl just sticks her fingers in my throat. What? All the way back. The first girl, the, the one that said girl. she doesn't even watch the show. Yeah, the first girl was just like, boom. And I was like, ha <laughs> ha. And I looked over to her and literally there was this moment of complete surreality where I just was like, and she looks up at me and she goes, oh, I'm sorry, I just, and walked away. <laughs> and my friend who was standing with me, we went, all right. And we took a right. We walked out of the bar, and he was like, get a beer in the East Village? And I was like, yeah, that would be great. That's, yeah. that, that's so insane. insane. And did, did you know what, she, did she think that maybe there was something obstructing your airway? Was there? I don't know. <laughs> maybe she was I was doing this while I was talking to Sarah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it was weird, too, because you know how everybody says, like, when you're born, there's like a snow globe, and you know, your life's protected until it starts to crack, and you realize what life is? My snow globe was thrown into fire and then eaten by sharks. Like, <laughs> I had no idea what was going on at that it's time. It's so weird. I think it's that, that she's not, you're not a real person to her. You're like a prop. You're like a guy yeah. from TV. So she literally thought, right. I can put my finger in his mouth. And that's probably best case scenario. She could have like shivved me to see if I like bled. <laughs> oh, you do bleed? Yeah. That's weird. I get that. I get that all the time. You do. I've been stabbed many times. <laughs> you're that late night guy, right? Never watch it, stab. Hey, what the hell was that? I love your show. <laughs> I love it when you drive the desks, jab, jab, jab. And they coat me in mayonnaise. Yep. Um, whatever. That's the life, people. That's what happens, man. You don't want to be us. It's too crazy. Oh, um. <laughs> now, we have something in common, which is uh, we both come from, uh, you know, uh, large families. You have a lot of brothers. I grew up with a lot of brothers. And I know when I grew up, Constant fighting. It was just constant, oh, yeah. and it got nasty. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we would think nothing of using anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's one of those old stories that like, oh, you always get beat up when you have all brothers. Yeah. That's not a joke. Right. right? 
My brother one time was like, I'm surprised we all survived one Thanksgiving. How, what's my mom like was the like, nasty? Amen. Here, have some more gravy. What, what's the, what's how nasty did it get? Like, what's the when 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 you uh, give me a I scenario? I don't strike when, often, yeah. but I strike big. Right. So I was really small, and so my brother literally came up to me with one of his friends one day, and he literally turned to his friend and he went, "Watch this." <laughs> And just beat me up like in the face and on and the shoulder. And wasn't even the worst is he's not looking at you as. <laughs> There's nothing more degrading. How awesome is this? Beating a man while you're not looking at him. <laughs> so dehumanizing. All and uh, I was playing GI Joe at the time. I was like 20, and um, <laughs> uh, I was maybe like eight. And I remember I was like, "Watch this! I'm gonna grab a toy and just throw it at him." I thought it was there was like a truck back here, and I pulled something in front of me, and it was a giant lawn dart. Which are called jarts. And they're now illegal in every state because of my case. And um, I was like, oh, this will do. Wipe off the dirt, be safe, throw. <laughs> and it goes through the air and it just <laughs> sticks in his head. No! And he goes like this and he goes, ah, ah, ah. And he's like running through the lawn like this. And my dad comes out, my dad's a doctor and he's like, what is going on? As my brother ran by, he grabs the jart. Paul keeps going and he goes, do you see this? This really could have hurt somebody. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I completely believe that story. And That's, just, it's true. And yeah. I, was, uh, I was the best man in his wedding. And uh, at the rehearsal dinner, I gave him the wand dart on a plaque. And it had his wedding date. And I said, always remember. <laughs>